Yo, how's it going guys and welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we have another massive player review for you all. It's one which I was very, very hyped to bring to the channel. I just didn't think I would be able to bring it anytime soon. It is none other than Team of the Year, Striker Killian, 98 rated Mbappe. I don't know why I said it like that, but I was just so excited to get my hands on this card. And I just want to say a big thank you to the subscriber who let me test this card on his account it, abs it looks absolutely phenomenal i've played with it on stream this afternoon and it is a fantastic card so if you enjoyed today's video smash like down below and subscribe for a lot more fifa 20 content who knows who we will be reviewing in the next couple of days since we had ronaldo yesterday mbappe today who knows where this will take us but this mbappe looks absolutely insane as i mentioned 98 rated and he's going to cost you a lot of coins so he costs 5.7 million currently on the PS4, 4.8 million to 4.9 million on uh, the Xbox around that price, 7 million on the PC. So, guys, what do you get for that price? The upgrades from the base cards. You do get a plus 9 to the overall, which is huge, obviously. Plus 3 to the pace, which obviously is not massive because he already has crazy pace. Plus 12 to the shooting to 96 shooting plus 15 to the passing, he has a plus 8 to the dribbling, plus 16 to the defending, and a plus 15 to the physical. High-low work rates, 5 foot 10, right-footed, 4-star weak foot, 5-star skill moves. Everyone knows Mbappe by now. In-game is an amazing player, but this team of the year just will take it to a level where have FIFA cards reached that sort of level? We will find out in today's review. We tested Ronaldo yesterday. Today is the day of Kylian Mbappe. So, 99 acceleration, 99 sprint speed as expected, 99 finishing, he's got 99 attack positioning, he's got 96 reactions, 98 ball control, 99 dribbling, 91 composure, 94 curve, 97 short pass, 83 long pass, free kick accuracy is probably a low stat which yeah you might want to take free kicks with him, you might want to take penalties with him, he'll be able to do the penalties, free kicks I don't think are his speciality um, but that's not a major factor. Jumping 91, Stamina 99, Strength 91, Aggression 74. So on the low side for Aggression, but this card just looks unbelievable. I think the team of the year Mbappe last year was amazing, and this card could take it to the next level. We will have to see in today's review. What we're going to do is play a live game and play, um, well, show you the highlights that I did manage to get with this card on stream in Foot Champions. You will see he's took us to a great level in Foot Champions. We have him in this team, Eusebio, Kaká, Sizoko, Alan, Lozano, Joe Gomez. We play a 4-2-3-1, Mbappe up front, tell him to stay forward and get him behind. I think he does that amazingly. And one of the best things about this Mbappe card is he can play on the wing. Personally, my favourite position for Mbappe regular card is a winger, but you can't use a team of the Mbappe on the wing. So what we'll do, we'll get into the game. Hopefully it's a uh, good opponent, not a crazy opponent because I don't want to get embarrassed with this card. Let's get into it. So here we go then. The live game for today's video is a very, very meta team. He's got Robertson team of the year, Joe Gomez, David Luiz, Fabinho, Bernardo Silva. He's got Dalbert, Mbappe himself, Neymar, Ben Yedda. Hopefully this isn't going to be too much of a test. Is that Nick Pope in goal? What a strange, strange choice. But let's hope we can do well. Um, I have a good feeling for Mbappe in this game and Eusebio, very, very good striker partnership. Into Mbappe, up against David Luiz and Joe Gomez. Spins one, can't find the pass. Eusebio, up against David Luiz. Lozano, into Mbappe. Mbappe with a finesse. Good save by Nick Pope, easy one really. Mbappe, up against David Luiz. Can he get away? Mbappe, oh my god, what a save from Nick Pope. Why did I question Nick Pope? Great save. Look how fast Mbappe dribbles with the ball. It's insane. Mbappe has to finish this. What? I would... Eusebio, one of you. Mbappe, left foot. There we go. Oh my days. I had the shot. I pressed B. It didn't do anything. But we get the goal with Mbappe. I think that came off his left foot. Inside the box. You'd expect him to finish that. And four-star weak foot. It feels okay, it feels alright guys, in certain instances, inside the box it feels fine. We will talk about it more in the pros uh, in the pros and cons of this card, but nice goal gets us in front in what is a very, very tough match. Mbappe into Kaká, back to Mbappe, finish this Mbappe. Alan, Kaká has to score, oh my days, these two goals we've scored have been 
scruffy, very, very scruffy goals. They get us in front though, and Kaká finally scores for us. Uh, I think this is going to be a rage quit from this guy, which will be very surprising, considering he has a very, very good team. But, I don't know if it is, he might just be making changes, but... The way the game's been going, them two goals have been very, very fluky. I think we should have scored the first one. Nick Pope showing, though, he's one of the best goalkeepers in the game, apparently. He scores, he gets one back, 2-1 with Werner, and I said he was going to rage quit. I thought he would rage quit just because the cheese has gone against him. He brought on Werner for Ben Yedda, and it seems to be a good decision so far. So he's got two back. And it felt like as soon as we went 2-0 up, as always in FIFA, the team just collapses. And yeah, we're not doing too well. Can't get Mbappe involved too much in the game at the moment. But hopefully we should get through it with a win. Flash. Mbappe. There we go. He gets the rebound. Another crazy goal in this game. What are these goals that we are scoring? We get the third with Mbappe, and he couldn't just score the first one. I don't understand what is going on with Nick Pope, what is going on with Mbappe's 99 finishing. But we get in front, and it's been a tough match. I think that's where um, Mbappe is truly going to be tested in these tough matches. Um, and he's done well. He's taken his chances when they have come. He's created chances for others. He's having a big impact in the game. That's as much as I can say, really, about the card. He's, had, he's been probably our best player, so that's very, very good. Uh, in this game, hopefully he can get another and seal the victory. Mbappe, must get away, must get away, sweats it to Lozano. I'm sorry guys, I probably should have tested Mbappe's finishing there, but as I say, this guy is very, very good. 4-2 in for champions, this um, will take us to, I think, 11-1 in for champs, so I just wanted to secure the win. Mbappe probably could have finished, finished it, but the way Nick Pope's been playing... Wouldn't surprise me if he missed either, but very, very nice. We're doing a lot better in this game now. Alan, into Eusebio. It's what we were missing from the first half. I don't think Kaká's prime card is very good at all. Mbappe, does Joe Gomez. Can he finish this time? Nick Pope again. Nick Pope again, I swear that Nick Pope card is broken. That's why he uses him, I guess. So there we have it. 4-2 it did end in the live game with Team of the Year Mbappe. No hat-trick, nothing like that. Um, he was kind of missing chances, which was very surprising uh, to me anyway. Two goals, 9.4 rating, man of the match. That's no surprise. He played very, very well. What we'll do now is we'll get into the highlights that I did manage to get with Mbappe. Talk about the pros, talk about the cons that about this card. It's amazing though, guys. It is an amazing card, and I think that... Takes us to 11 wins, 11 and 1 in foot champs with this team as well. It's a very good team, but it's not full of superstars. And Mbappe is standing out. He is the star performer in this team. Let's get into the highlights. So here we go then, guys, into the highlights that we did manage to get from Kylian Mbappe, the 98 rated team of the year card. This was one of the most um, promising cards from the team of the year. The most excited I was to test out any of the team, the team of the years anyway, over Mane, over De Bruyne, over Messi, this Mbappe stood out to me so much because I've used his regular card so often, I've used his team of the group stage card, his inform I've even had, so I thought, how could this card get even better? And I'm going to try and explain that to you guys during this review because I think that if you are seriously interested in getting it, 5 million is a lot of coins and is 5 million going to be worthwhile spending 5 million over just buying the team of the group stage card? We will talk about that throughout this review. Now let's just get started with the pros for this card. For me, one of the biggest pros is the finishing. Any Mbappe card, the finishing is going to be insane. This one just takes it to the next level. It takes it to the max. He finishes everything inside the box. Um, a lot of things outside the box. box um, inside the box, left foot, right foot, it doesn't matter. I think with Mbappe, one of the best shots that you can do is the finesse shot, whereas with Ronaldo, the near post power shot is the one. Not saying Mbappe can't do this, but I think he prefers like a finesse shot inside the box, which does help him score a hell of a lot of goals for me. And yeah, he did get 19 goals in 12 games for me, guys. All in for champions. We went 11 and 1 in for champions with this card. And he was a massive, massive. He was in instrumental to me doing so well in for champions today. It was uh, People were rage quitting before we even started. I think they probably just saw Mbappe and thought, that's enough. But that's one of his best things, the, p the finishing. Up next is the pace. The pace is just insane. 99 acceleration, 99 sprint speed. 
how often do you see him running behind like that? Running, I think I did the ball roll the one the wrong way in that situation, but it still goes past the goalkeeper, rounds it hit, round the goalkeeper, makes it 1 1. And that is one of the best things about Mbappe the pace, because you can play him striker, left forward, right forward, camp. It doesn't matter where you play him because he has the pace to just do damage in any position. My favourite position for this Mbappe probably would be out wide, you know, guys, because he gets a bit more space, can burst down the wings and can do the cutbacks, can do the can do the uh, fantastic finishing. But I think when you buy a team of the Euro card, you've got to play him down the middle. You want him to be involved so, so much. But if you're thinking, can he do a job on the wing? Absolutely. He more so can do a job on the wing. It's absolutely fantastic. And that's the versatility from the cards. What plays into the versatility so well is the positioning. The positioning is so good. He's high-low work rate, so he's always going to be in a great attack sp attacking spot as you see him score a very nice goal on his left foot to make it 4-3 in this game where we were losing 3-1 so you can see he's so instrumental at actually getting you through games winning games I just was so impressed with that aspect of the card the dribbling is insane too the dribbling is absolutely fantastic it sticks to his foot the scoop turns the el uh, elastic holes the la croquettes every skill move you can name off the five star skill moves mean that he can do it so so well He's so strong in game, I, I was actually very surprised with his strength, 91 strength, he can brush off the biggest defenders on the game, he's not small as well, so he is going to hold his own at the striker position, which is important if you are playing a one striker formation. His heading is decent, he scores I think just one header in this, but he always felt like he could win headers when you kick the ball long, like a Cristiano Ronaldo, you kick the ball long, it can go to Mbappe, he can head it down to your attackers and he can just do a job and defensively he can do a job as well. He gets his head to the ball and he was just a pleasure to use to be honest. I haven't really got any problems with this card apart from it seems like there isn't really too much of an upgrade from the team of the group stage card. The team of the group stage card is absolutely fantastic and it's one card that I wanted to pick up a long time ago and he's around I think maybe 1.5 million coins I'm not too sure how much currently but 1.5 million coins when I last checked and is there a huge jump up which makes it worthwhile spending 5 million to be honest if it was my if it was my decision I think I would save the coins go for the team of the group stage because I don't know if there's such a huge jump up in quality and this one is just insane and it gets an insane rating um, it gets a 9.8 overall rating. It's just insane. 19 goals in 12 games is no joke. And I think for me, it has to be up there with one of the best cards I have used in FIFA this year. Up there with Ronaldo. I know Ronaldo got a 9.9. .9. This Mbappe gets a 9.8. But it feels like sometimes maybe on the left foot, Mbappe isn't as good as he could be. I think the problem with this team of the year, Mbappe is, is he's a downfall because his, old, his older versions are so good anyway. They are just so good. You can't really improve so much, whereas with Cristiano, his pace could improve. Um, other factors of the card could improve, whereas this Mbappe was already maxed out on the pace. His finishing was already insane. And yeah, that's about it, really. I think that if you buy him 5 million coins, you will have an amazing time with this card. He's going to be his end game. He's probably one of the best strikers, if not, I don't know, the second best striker, maybe third best striker behind Eusebio and Cristiano Ronaldo team of the year. You will absolutely love it. So if you can afford him, go test him out. He will do so well for you. As I say, 9.8 rating from me. Such an amazing card to use. I hope to use him again in for champions in draft. Thank you guys if you did make it to the end of this video. If you did, smash a like down below and subscribe for a lot more FIFA 20 content. Moments Eden Hazard review will be coming very, very soon. So I'll see you on that video.